Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have my Coco Daisy Silent Moon collection sitting on my desk. I've been playing with it and been enjoying, enjoying it so, so much. We are going to do a layout that will fit in my Life Crafted album. So I have it pulled right here. And what I like about this one is that at least I keep all of my pages like consistent. So back to back, meaning that these are all adhered. All these previous ones that I have done, there are no holes. Um, so it's kind of uh, chronological as I make them, which is actually kind of nice. And what I like about this um, Life Crafted is that it's working in your traveler's notebook size, but without it being a bind notebook. Because I love traveler's notebooks, but sometimes once you've done a couple layouts in them, they get kind of bulky and then you can't really work in them very easily. For example, like I, you know, I love this one. This one was actually a Coco Daisy one I did for a travel album. Oh, no, this one's just a regular one. And it just kind of gets bulky. So there are some holes in here, you know, but, but because it's hard to work on some of the sides, you know, you just kind of let those pages go, you know? So like this is like one of the end ones. So it just gets a little bit difficult in my opinion. Now, don't get me wrong. Um, I love working in these. But what I also see a lot of crafters doing, and I might do it on my next one, is take it off the staples. And actually, look, this is the middle, and the staples are already coming undone on this page. So this is why. Yep, yeah, see? <laughs> the staple has come undone. So they take it off of the staples, um, slice it down, and then they put it on the disc. Uh, what am I trying to say? The disc binding. So similar to having rings, they put it on disc. Or I actually, now that I have the cinch machine, I'm thinking too that if I cut the, it down, like say next month when I get the kit, um, cut it down and then cinch it, meaning, you know, you poke those holes and then have it on a bit of a coil. It gives it a little bit more room so that it won't do that. You know, I think that, you know, what happens too is that overall, we love scrapbooking. Our embellishments give it that that chunkiness, which is a good thing. Like even here, I added like ribbon right in the middle seam, um, but it's not good for the binding. <laughs> I think these were always meant originally just as notebooks, you know, uh, not to chunk up with all of our things. So I'm still working in this one, and I have a few of these. So I mean, I don't have to do it immediately, but. Um, so the, the one inch ring works good. I have a purple one ready to go over here when this one is full. So I do like the size and that's what we're working on with today. Oh, and here I have an example of the cinch. So here's the cinch binding. So it's like a little bit of a coil and that way when it does get bulky, it has a little leeway so that it stays a bit flat rather than kind of getting all crocodile mouth on you. So that's, that's what I was referring to about doing it on a cinch that I can just put a coil on it and then the, it won't be so bad with the bulk from the pictures. That's what I was referring to. Anyways, let's get started. So I have pulled a few things and what I've narrowed it down to is that we're going to be scrapping some school photos. Definitely her school photo from kindergarten. Look how cute my little bits was. I love this paper. So we're going to cut one side out on this side is what I'm feeling and then leave it. And I was auditioning either the tag with the grid or keeping it dark. And then we go, yeah, I kind of like the dark, the heavy contrast there with that one. Or I simply can just do it both sides because this paper really is remarkable. So, you know, have it here, we'll cut it here and then sort of have the tag block out some of it. That way it'll have that cohesiveness, which I do, I do like. And then I have this one pulled out because I think I'm going to use some titles from the foam. We're going to punch out this and then make this a little bit of a flip and have another photo of like just her and her school uniform over here. And then I'll put journaling. So probably this way and I'll do my journaling. So that is the thought. Let's get started. That way I don't talk too much in this intro and let's bring you along. Okay, crafty friends, let's get started. So in order to keep my pages like back to back to back, I always like to use the pa previous page as the template for cutting out this pattern paper. Now this pattern paper is 
simply divine. I swear if she could do this one in all the colorways, like a warm and, a, and this blue, maybe even other colorways, maybe with softer colors, I would use it over and over again. I find the illustration to be just fantastic. So overall, I think I mentioned the, the photo is of my daughter's school year photo. Um, she asked for her hair very specifically during this time for two braids on the sides and parted and half and half. And so her wish is my command. And we just gave a lot of leave-in conditioner so that her hair didn't frizz too much by the time she took this photo. Then I also took another photo from my Persnickety uh, subscription box. And I love these prints. In case you ha don't know about Persnickety box, it's a subscription. You get 30 four by four um, prints with border or without. I chose this time with border. It's $20 a month and the quality is archival. So they'll last forever and not turn yellow and stuff. So the other one is of just her and her like school uniform. Well, well her option because she has either has to wear polos or the school t-shirt. So um, I'm just, this is just one in her school t-shirt and I'm using it as like a flip pocket where my journaling will be hidden because I love this tag too and if you saw me before I was describing what I was doing I punched out with a circle probably a two inch punch the sentiment on another journal card that way I got to utilize one of them and here I am adding some silver simple like mesh ribbon to the top and loving the way that looks once I had that all set I thought you know what to add a little bit of interest let's add some dimensional foam to the sentiment that I cut out with the two inch punch just to give it some interest. Once I have this all set too, I will start kind of thumbing through the stickers and the die cuts to add little embellishments um, to the tag itself just so that it kind of all, you know, ties together across both layouts. Whenever I'm working with the collection, I always want to make sure, like granted the background paper itself makes them cohesive, but to make sure I have little bits of all kind of the things involved in the kit. For my title, I'm using the foam phrases or thickers that say new new dreams. And I think that's what I reference like my journaling is that I just wish for her to have a good and successful school year. Uh, schooling, not to say has been difficult. My daughter just doesn't do very well with a drastic change. <laughs> and she also doesn't do well um with like me not being around so we're definitely trying to encourage her to be brave all the time and try things without the help of mom and dad um, but you know what i find that maybe you know she'll be growing out of that phase soon so this too will be fleeting so it's nice to be wanted and needed but at the same time i don't want it to be a hiccup for her in school so you saw me adding a few of the rub-ons already i'm going through the tiny word phrase stickers here i am going through the chipboard and just having a few of these elements um, around so that like i said once again you just kind of see the all what the collection has to offer and get a good sense on what you can create using the coco daisy silent moon collection Okay, that will wrap up this layout right here. So um, I think some of the footage got lost, but overall I put this on a fun foam to pop it up and then I made a flip right there. So it's a little hidden flap, but this alone makes a nice layout, but the hidden just has my handwritten journaling and then one more photo underneath, which is so fun. And all overall, it's just about how she's been doing in kindergarten so far. And so far it's been all good. <laughs> so fun photo with her school photo. And then I also, I don't know if I showed her in the video, added some silver ribbon to the top and I just put a tiny toucher stapler and that will wrap this one up. I hope you enjoyed your time with me. Please subscribe if you are new, give this video a thumbs up and until next time, bye. Thank you.